In the first part of the exercise, we implemented Newton's method for finding the square root of a number by designing several functions to implement the algorithm. In this part of the exercise, I'm going to demonstrate how to combine those functions into one nested function to make the definition of the algorithm easier to understand and easier to maintain. What we want to do is only add those functions that are only applied to finding a square root to the definition of the function, the general function, for finding a square root. In other words, the average function we could use in another situation, so we're not going to nest it, or the square function either. So let's get started. Our main function is square root, and its parameter is a number. Then the first nested function we're going to define is close enough, and its only parameter will be guess. The reason for that is, is that number now is available to the close enough function because close enough is defined inside of square root. And we take advantage of lexical scoping to only have to pass one parameter to the function. And then we'll write out the definition for close enough right here. After close enough, then we define improve. And it also only requires one parameter because it has access to number within the environment of the square root function. And then finally, we define square root helper also with just one parameter. We'll finish up the definition right here. Here, if the guess is not good enough, we recursively call square root helper with an improved guess. And then finally, to kick it all off, we call square root helper with the argument 1.0 print square root 9 to start with. Save it again. Come back to our command prompt. And there's the square root of 9 using Newton's method. Let's find another square root. We'll do 144. So there we see that by nesting functions, we get a more efficient and more maintainable definition of how to determine the square root of a number using Newton's method. The functions that aren't general enough to be used in other instances, probably, close enough, improve, and square root helper, get defined within square root so that someone looking at the program doesn't have to look far to figure out what these functions do. So with that, we wrap up this exercise and we wrap up this chapter on scoping and nested functions.